from Reddit, we've got a post here from... You know what? We're not going to read the name, actually. I better not see any of those weird comments that I've seen before. Some people, man, some of you leaving comments like me being a, about me being a femboy and saying some stuff about like feet and all that. Like, no, just, just, just no. Anyways, uh, yeah. So back to the post. Hikiers is mostly unknown to foreigners, but it is somewhat popular among Asian users. It was found by a Chinese in Sweden. It was basically a more hentai version of Pixiv. More hentai than Pixiv? That can exist? And it is used by Chinese NSFW artists who cannot receive payments via PayPal slash Pixiv fanbox because they are banned in China. Recently, Chinese Sichuan local government, along with the support of Japanese government, that's uh, interesting. That alone, uh, maybe we'll talk about that in a moment. Launched a wipeout against 2D slash 3D same sex NSFW industry in China. Hick years was mostly affected, and at least two digit number of artists who are in China were arrested. Some bigger ones are in the process of being charged and sentenced. It is unknown if the founder is also arrested. If not, he most likely will just shut down the entire website to prevent more damage. Arrested artists are not limited to Hick years artists but only to those who physically live in China. In China, making, selling, and spreading NSFW art are strictly forbidden by law. This law here, apparently. Uh, this one, yeah. And will face at least three years in prison. Serious offender can be sentenced to more than 10 years. The OP is saying that they have a decent follow, uh, a decent follow of some Chinese hentai artists. And some of them are literally, uh, some of them literally just deleted their pics of account, rather, in order to not get attention from the police and linking to their source right here. Bro, imagine getting 10 years in prison. In prison. Because you decided to make some art of Venti and Zhang Li having a little fun together. And as usual, as we've seen time and time again, you just know probably the CCP policymakers who put laws like that in place, they probably just got like massive amounts of gay fan art and stuff on their hard drives. It's really hypocritical. I think sometimes like politicians and stuff, they get off on like, enforcing laws against the the plebs as they might see them like you know everyone else and then like they use their privilege as politicians to like get away with some other stuff that they literally put legislation against like man stuff's crazy okay now before we wrap this up the thing about japan said they have support from the japanese government supporting chinese sichuan local government this very well may have been a typo they may have just meant to say chinese government along with chinese sichuan local government i think because even in their source, it doesn't seem to say anything about Japan. So I do think it is likely a typo. If it's not a typo, though, that's really interesting. It would seem like Japan wants uh, to dominate that market. So they're helping China go after these artists. Which, again, I don't think is the case. I do think it's a typo. But yeah, uh, let me know what you think about all of that in the comments. We'll leave it there. And great news, guys. Pretty soon I'll be streaming on the VTuber channel. Pretty much all set. Just finalizing a few things. If you're interested, link in the description to that channel. Thank you so much. And... As mentioned again, thank you for tuning in to this segment. I look forward to seeing you in the comments and tomorrow for the next one.